20-year-old Brazilian model is fighting for her life. The beauty pageant contestant has just had her feet and hands amputated after contracting a urinary tract infection. The model, once a finalist in the Miss World contest, initially diagnosed with kidney stones. But was that really the problem? And could the model die? Jennifer Ashton, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, I should say, joins us live. Dr. Ashton, um, a urinary tract infection leads to this, amputated hands and feet. Well, Greta, what appears to be the case is that this person is suffering from what we call septic shock, and that has resulted in multi-system organ failure. So yes, a, a seemingly common everyday infection, such as that of a urinary tract infection, spread to her bloodstream. In this case, probably the bacteria Pseudomonas is what the indicated reports have, have mentioned. And then one by one, the essential organ systems that we all require to survive start to shut down. So one of the things that happened in this case is that the extremities get very little blood flow because the body is desperately just trying to supply blood to her brain and her heart and the hands and feet literally become gangrenous and in order to save her life they they need to be amputated so this is a very very critical condition and she's on I understand that uh, right now she's intubated she's on life support uh, she has she's can signal with her eyes, but she's a very sick woman uh, tonight. Uh, now, she, she felt sick at the end of December, and she was hospitalized January 3rd. They thought she had kidney stones. Um, it, if, she, if they had determined she had a urinary tract infection a little bit earlier, would this be a different discussion we're having tonight? Well, it's hard to say, Greta. You know, the fact of the matter is, is that kidney stones then sometimes, of course, you know, you can pass them on your own. Sometimes that requires surgery to remove the stone. And any time the, the urinary tract is instrumented or even if it's blocked with a stone, there is the potential for an infection to set in. And if that infection, again, spreads to her bloodstream, you can, you can wind up with one of these disastrous situations called sepsis or septic shock and you know the the mortality rate or the risk of death here is upwards of 10 percent and the, if it is this pseudomonas bacteria which typically can be found even on healthy people walking around outside of a hospital it can be very difficult to treat and it, it, it can be resistant to a lot of antibiotics so this is a very grave situation is this something that the, us lay people refer to as a superbug, or I mean, is, is that is that why antibiotics have not addressed this quickly, or at least no? You know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that it's a superbug, Greta, in the way that something like MRSA or MRSA is a superbug. But this is one of those very virulent bacteria that any doctor, when they see um, you know very severe infections caused by Pseudomonas, they know it is a formidable um, opponent. And you know, when it comes down to it, any bacteria that can cause sepsis or sepsis shock once it's spread throughout the body and the heart and the kidneys and the liver and the clotting system start to one by one shut down you have a very critically ill person who really is you know on the edge it, did this hit her fast? I mean, or was, or was there some notice? I think we, we don't really know the answer to that. I mean, if, if reports are that she began to be sick in December, so, you know, typically there are, you know, long sequence of events with this type of infection, but, you know, she's been in the intensive care unit for a while now, and we have to remember over 200,000 people in the U.S. die in an ICU setting due to septic shock every year. So, you know, this is a, this is a serious situation. And it's just so difficult, uh, a 20-year-old uh, woman, now her, her hands and feet amputated, and that's not even the worst part. She's uh, clinging to life tonight. Yep. Dr. Ashton, thank you. You bet, Greta.